we have a line of good-looking trees here, American Sweet Gum. American Sweet Gum has a dozen different other names as it is widespread in the United States. I'm going to list those names in the description of the video in the text box. It's native to uh, Southeast United States, roughly from Texas to the Virginias and Tennessee to Florida. This tree is a major source of lumber for the Southeast United States. So what's it doing in the Pacific Northwest along the 49th parallel? Of course, planted here for landscaping. This is how the leaves look like, fairly easy to identify it. It looks like maple leaves that are deeply lobed with five to seven lobes typically. And this is how the immature or green fruit looks like on it. It's fairly, fairly easy to identify it. Can't miss American sweet gum. Its name suggests that, uh, well, all of its, all of its names relate to some of its properties. This is the old spike ball. The the fruit, this green fruit, of course, develops into this spike ball that sticks to everything and is on the pavement when they dry out and fall. This one has lost. This one lost all their seeds, of course, last year. In the, in the fall, the trees are usually red and good looking. Uh, besides that, all of the spike balls that drop on the pavement are a nuisance to people. They're hard to sweep up and uh, they stick to everything. So some cities are trying to get rid of these trees after all. And this is how the bark looks like, light gray. And because we're on the, on the Pacific Northwest, we have a lichen bonanza special on it. So disregard the mosses and the lichens. And this is how the bark looks like, light gray. Toward the base here it breaks up into different ridges. But uh, after all this is some young tree. And uh, all of them are. And uh, like I said, major source of hardwood in the southeast. All of its names relate to some of its properties, whether it's gator tree or alligator tree or whatever it is. It's some of its shapes with its uh, spikiness or relate to its sweet, like sweet gum. Its sap is sweet and gummy. Insects usually feed on it. Uh, some, uh, some butterfly species are also dependent on it. Usually there are ants going up and down on it that harvest or live on the sweet sap. Yeah, maybe not this time or not in this case. So, it's a good looking tree. It's got nice shade, nice leaves. Yeah, these spike balls are a nuisance. Easy to identify.